Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to another Overwatch character spotlight, this time taking a look at... Roadhog. Roadhog is another one of the tank classes, and unique among the tank classes in that he really doesn't have any way to protect his allies from receiving damage. Zarya has her bubble shields, Winston has a shield, Reinhardt has a shield, and D.Va can even block projectiles coming in in front of her, but Roadhog really doesn't have any of that. He's just a big heavy dude that's easy to hit. Uh, however, he's really good at, um, you know, taking damage, he's really good at healing himself, um, and as a result, he's kind of like a first target for some enemies. So maybe in, a, in the way that, you know, your enemies will try and focus on Roadhog as opposed to your allies, I guess that might be a way to consider him as a tank, but he definitely has a ton of health, and uh, he's mostly represented as a tank class because of that. So we can see he's got 600 health and a bunch of abilities that we're going to take a look at right now. So Roadhog's weapon is a shotgun, and it only has four units of ammo, so you want to use them sparingly. As it's a shotgun, it's definitely useful at close range. It can one-shot many characters, and it's very useful against other tanks as well. Um, however, at medium range, it's not all that useful, and at further ranges, it's pretty much almost worthless, depending on how lucky you are with those shots. So you, make want, you definitely want to make sure that your enemies are close by. However, it does have a right-click ability, which has like more of a focused shot to it. Nice. If you can manage to uh, hit guys in the head with it, it's pretty useful. You can two-shot your training bots with it. But uh, if you're not hitting them in the head and you're just hitting them in the body, it's not quite as useful. But it's still better than, you know, usually going ahead and using your left click at a similar range. Depending again on what and the size of the frame of the enemy you're attacking, right? If you're attacking a smaller enemy like Tracer, you know, she's going to be even harder to hit with those shotgun belts at a range. Do note with the right click that the further away from an enemy are, the uh, you know less damage it's going to do still, because after a while it dissipates, you can kind of see that happening as it expands at a further range, right? So if I'm really far away from these guys and try and right click, you're not doing quite as much damage. If you get a little bit of uh, medium range there, you're definitely doing more. Nice, right? So your right click is really your medium range ability. If you're really lucky, like and you're at the right range, you can even kind of one shot some guys, as we just saw there. Nice. Um, but it's definitely better at a medium range as opposed to close. With right click, it doesn't have that much time to build up its ability. So, long story short, in case you aren't following along, left click for very close range. Right click at close range, not so good. Okay. Right click at a decent medium range, definitely better. Left click at a medium range, not so good. Cool. Now to help you out with getting enemies in range, you have your shift ability. Nice. So the hook is actually really good at uh, pulling enemies towards you, obviously, and it's got a decent range. And it'll put them right in front of your hitbox. Now sometimes it can land a little bit to your left or right, be aware of that, but it's really useful and this thing's great. The hook has so many useful abilities it's even hard to explain. You can pull Reaper out of his ultimate, you can pull Bastion out of his turret mode, um, you can interrupt a lot of people and it also has like a little bit of a stun effect for most enemies. Just make sure you don't miss it because you know, it's got that six second cooldown or so. Nice. Uh, a typical combo, by the way, just to make sure that you do manage to kill people, go ahead and uh, throw your hook, left click, and melee attack. Very useful to do that in combination. Roadhog has a bunch of health, as you can see. 600 health. I think that's one of the most of all the characters in the game, and his E ability is very useful. It heals him for quite a bit. Uh, you can see I was just under 400 there, and I still healed up all the way to full. So from 296, if I go ahead and heal, 597. Nice. So, pretty decent amount of health that you're going to get as a result of using that E ability. And it's on a pretty short cooldown, only about 8 seconds or so. So, that's Roadhog's survival ability, the ability to heal pretty quickly. Now, obviously, you know, if you're getting blasted down, that, you know, won't necessarily save you. But I've seen that, um, you know, keep him healed through some pretty nice ultimates as well. And finally, his Q ability, Whole Hog. Whole Hog's um, definitely doing some good damage here, as you can see, but his most important ability is the knockback. You notice how far enemies got knocked back. This can be used to knock them into holes, push them away, especially if you've got like a Reaper right on you who relies on close range damage. Pretty much, you know, really, really useful to use when you want somebody to get away from you or knock them into um, a pit. So let's try this again. I'm gonna see if I can knock them over this rail. I'm not sure if I can. 
There we go. Knocked him over the edge. Nice. So let's go check out some in-game footage of Roadhog and see what he's like against real enemies. Alright guys, so we can see here that I'm uh, playing on a point and Maze going after me. I'm going to stun her, which is nice. She, of course, immediately dies for her. Now that I'm getting attacked by Reinhardt, I decided to activate my healing ability. I'm actually able to heal through his uh, attacks and then pop my ultimate off. That's going to keep pushing guys away, break through his shield pretty nice, take down Reinhardt, and then a nice right click from range finishes off that sword. Nice. Maze coming after me, but luckily my Reaper on my team helped me out. Thanks, Reaper. Switching over here now, we can see I'm going to go ahead and throw a hook, grab that dude. Don't forget your melee attack after the hook, otherwise he wouldn't have died there, right? Um, now there's a Reinhardt coming in, I'm going to blast him with my shotgun. Nice. Like I said, very good against heavy frame guys like Reinhardt and other tanks. Grab that May. Nice. Very cool. Now coming up here, we can see a soldier. I can get him from a pretty good range. Unfortunately, I just barely missed killing him. I mean, he must have like one or two health left, but a right click helped finish him off. Now my ultimate's ready again. And then a quick one on another point over here. I'm gonna grab this Farah. Again, the hook is really like the key to playing Roadhog. If you get good with the hooks, you're in great shape. Uh, Reaper's gonna come after here. Notice I healed up though first. Up oh, there's a Zarya first. Take her down. Nice. Cool. And then I'll go after this uh, Lucio again with a right click to take him out. So guys, that about wraps it up for the spotlight on Roadhog. Like I said, uh, the real keys with him are A, knowing when to use your left and right click, what ranges are best. Obviously that range was pretty darn good for my right click. It really wrecked that uh, training bot. Too far, not so good. Too close, not so good with his right click. Uh, but of course, left click at close range is really nice to have. And of course, hooking with the hook. That's kind of key. If you can get a hook in, you're in great shape. Uh, but for now, Darwell20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed learning about Rodog. One other tip, don't be afraid to use his heal. It's on a pretty short cooldown, and it heals almost half your health. So, uh, you know, popping that pretty much whenever you have a chance or whenever you need to, it's pretty useful. All right, guys, take it easy.